You might anticipate that royalty would spend their days in fashionable dresses, oozing with diamonds and consuming upscale cuisine. However, for one royal, life is considerably more normal than you may think. We're talking about a typical full-time job and used clothing. Princess Beatrice, the eldest child of Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, just turned 35. She has since earned the titles of great role model and relatable princess among the royal family. She has been referred to as the royal family's secret weapon and is married to Eduardo Mapelli Mosi. She is the niece of King Charles Ayai and the granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth Yu. The royal, who has served as one of King Charles's seven councillors of state for almost a year, has been compared to Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, Anne, Princess Royal, and Kate, Princess of Wales, and has been regarded as more laid back. Beatrice has endured a great deal of strain and criticism throughout her childhood, but she has truly come into her own, according to former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond. A divorced queen already occupies the throne. Now we have a princess we can relate to. Beatrice, a stepmother who openly discusses her dyslexia and who most recently had to deal with the tragedy of her mother, Sarah, Duchess of York, being diagnosed with breast cancer, is also a stepmother. It greatly improves her accessibility. She seems to have widespread acclaim. She also has all of her mother's charm, according to Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine and a royal specialist. She is incredibly kind to everyone and remembers everyone's names. She actually gets along well with individuals from all backgrounds, from nine to five work. While many of the royals are working royals, which means they use their charitable work and official engagements to reduce the tax burden associated with their opulent lifestyles, Beatrice is an exception. The princess has chosen to work a regular full-time job in addition to attending many royal events as part of her duty to uphold the throne. Princess Beatrice, who is ninth in line to the throne, decided to pursue a career in banking. She started out as an analyst at a wealth management company and eventually rose to become Affinity's Vice President of Strategic Partnerships. Working a 9-to-5 job may seem very unprincess-like, but the kid's father, Prince Andrew, says that's exactly the balance he wants for his children. In a 2016 statement, Andrew said, As a father, my hope for my girls is that they would grow up to be modern successful young women who also happen to be members of the royal family. I am thrilled to see them pursuing their careers. My family is really appreciative when they support the royal family in its activities. The secret weapon of the royals. Beatrice is said to be quite close to both of her parents in addition to working full-time. Beatrice is extremely sensitive, especially when it comes to her father, as she holds herself responsible for both encouraging him and then failing to prevent him from giving the Newsnight interview. She does, however, also have a great deal of popular sympathy due to the negative attention her father has received. Beatrice is a great role model for others who experience family problems, brand and cultural specialist Nick Eid stated. She has had a lot of upheaval in her life, including a fractured home and a problematic father, the Duke of York. She seemed to have handled the storms pretty well, too. She is also able to see all sides of an issue, which enables her to be more understanding when it comes to Harry's conflict with William and King Charles, and to encourage both parties to talk about it and perhaps find a solution. I suppose she or maybe Princess Anne will be able to heal it. Beatrice might be the royal family's hidden weapon. Unparalleled Royal Wedding Ceremony The royal tradition of having a lavish wedding ultimately didn't apply to Princess Beatrice. In contrast to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding, which was thought to have cost more than £32 million, Beatrice and Eduardo's nuptials took place in 2020 in a modest and unassuming manner after the COVID-19 outbreak forced the cancellation of more elaborate wedding plans. On a calm afternoon in July, 
the couple exchanged vows in a simple ceremony in front of a select group of people. Additionally, the princess didn't spend a lot of money on a typical wedding gown. She opted to wear one of her grandmother's vintage white dresses instead. Beatrice's happily ever after has significantly contributed to her quick ascent to key royal player position over the past year, claims Ingrid Seward. After Hours Party Trick Beatrice recently shown to the world that she is relatable through her shoes. Beatrice and Adordo attended Carlo Agostinelli's birthday party in Mayfair while on a spectacular night out in London. But what caught people's attention was the princess's shoes. The princess looked stunning wearing an embroidered BMM seagrass handbag from Anya Hintmarch and a hot pink flowery little dress from Me Plus EM. Beatrice made the brilliant decision to wear not one, but two pairs of shoes for her night out, which set off a frenzy among royal style aficionados. The 35 year old queen arrived at the elite location wearing embroidered heels from the high street brand Stradivarius, channeling Barbie fever. Beatrice had a backup strategy in case the neon pink buckled shoes weren't the best option for a statement making yet budget friendly party appearance. The royal was pictured wearing Channel's famed lambskin ballerinas, a considerably more comfortable pair of flats, as she left the club after probably spending too much time on the dance floor. The fact that King Charles' niece wore such a casual outfit left royal enthusiasts speechless. They appeared astounded by the idea that even princesses enjoy a blister. What I love the most about this is B changing heels for flats. One admirer commented on Instagram, It's always wonderful to see that royalty behaves similarly to regular folks like myself, who will change out of uncomfortable shoes for more comfortable ones at the end of the night. While someone other said, Oh, she's a real one. Like many of us, my girl always keeps an extra pair of comfortable shoes in her suitcase. 10 out of 10 for her. A third person simultaneously added, The heels in the bag, and the switch to flats is so relatable.